Standing by. heading for that corpse. Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside. Oh, there's dear Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? Farewell to you, Mr. Lynn. Farewell, Mr. McCraith, sir. Farewell. I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Come on, let's talk to Ben. The ghost won't be able to resist my singing voice. You're not Jacob. Who's you? My name is Red McCraith. The Scot. You? Antea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. <laughs> I'm beyond help. Where's Jacob? We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I? We thought he'd acted willfully, planned it. Tell the truth. We thought I'm a liar. No. Jacob is a kind and godly man. Pure and true, always. He's the very best of us. Yeah. Though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became... wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking. Because I was thinking it too. What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. Why do you not confront him? Why not show yourself? I did. He thought me alive. He showed me stake he'd scavenged. He was so proud. He offered me a share. He needs to face the truth. To accept what he has done to both of us. At night, 
he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business and no one else's. So tell me, banisher, what did we do to deserve this? This was not God's doing. Another powerful entity is at work here. New Eden is cursed. Then God has forsaken us, and we are doomed. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Perhaps we shall. Jacob must confess. I fear the truth will break him. Oh, there to you, Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? I'm sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened to Ben, say so. Where is he? Day after day, you woke hungry from your nightmares. You tried to escape and failed many times until you broke. You killed your friend, Jacob. What? No. No, that's not what happened. Leave me be. Aye. That's what you said to Benedict before you pushed him off the cliff. But that's not all, is it? You killed Benedict, then you ate him. You were starving to death, yes, but you made your choice. You're not real. You're not real. You're a monster. If there's a monster here, Jacob, it's you. Speak. Cast off your guilt. Then we'll see what can be done about the shame. I failed him. I failed Benedict. I was so angry, so angry. He kept pushing me. We kept, we argued, and I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there, on the ground, lifeless, the whispers said, it was him or me, him or me. I would have died. I should have died. For my sins, I deserve no better. I failed God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. We both faced a choice, simple and awful, to kill or to die. You struck first, and here we are. Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banisher, do your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Red, if we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. 
We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. Do we kill to be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now. Jacob Lind, you believe you merit no mercy, but your suffering must have an ending. You murdered your friend, the man you called your brother. You fed on him. Then you denied your part in his ending and bound his spirit to this realm. You can never right this wrong. But the truth and your death will ease his suffering. There can be no half measures here. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Benedict, my friend, forgive me. I took the life of a man I loved and ate his flesh. This I deserve. It's done. You may feed on his essence. I think I need a moment. You can rest inside. No more maggots. Ben is gone for good.
killed and ate his friend. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Yeah, just like you. Just like me. I never thought I'd blame anyone. I've not killed since I quit the army. I swore I'd never kill again. It's not too late to change our minds. We made the right choice. We made it together. No turning back. Then, so I may have my resurrection, we'll steal human essence. We'll kill people for our own ends. Living, breathing people. We'll be banishers no longer. That settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. Soon I'll reclaim my life. We will pay the highest of prices. We banishers may call it blaming, but our hearts will know we're taking lives. How many? I don't know. Perhaps too many to ask of you. I want us back, Red. I want revenge on what killed me. I want to live. I want it too. With the whole of my heart. No price too high. I will do it. By my oath, I swear it, my love. I'll see you back from the dead. Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. Bane rings will help. Can you find the place where the stains align? hated these sap-thirsty spectres.
Are you all right? <sighs> Never better. <sighs> That jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. No way through here neither, as far as I can see. Watch out! Spectre position! Warming specters. Force them to appear with the right words of power. I summon you now! Still confusing your charms? Now step from the shadows. Look to me. Try this on. Move it. Enforcements! This isn't over yet. Watch out! God, you're tougher than I got. Spectre heading for that corpse. Stubborn bastard! This bite's not easily chewed. Stubborn bastard! Not gonna stay down! Change targets. Tormented first. Standing by. This bite's not easily chewed. There's a tough one.
What is lurking here? Time to work, Vanisher. There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure you can. Just try to be gentle this time. Mentioned the hunter's camp. It may be close. Something's there. Something alive. Yes. Who are you, and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water. And the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now. Stop your jiggling. Hold still, I said. You try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you. In that case, banish her. You may escape the trap yourself. Wait, what? No, no, come on! Our camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Shit! I don't suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. Good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No. Huh. <laughs> 
A bone walker. It's shite. on a ghost. This place is empty so long it's rotting. Signs of life ahead. This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. Good day, madam. And a good day to you too, sir. I've not seen your face before. Where did you spring from then? That, madam, is a long story. I'm Red McCraith. I'm the Banisher. Edith Keane. Miss Keane, if you prefer. There, we're no longer strangers. Though the times remain strange indeed. Not bad, eh? Oh, I don't doubt we'll prevail. But right now we're tired and hungry. I must go. 
Take care, sir. With God's help, we shall all see better days. You made it. Come up. I wish a word with you. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye. Well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in, pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Better than killing you for food, I suppose. Newsmith. Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thick skin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hick. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's naught to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Some think the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bother. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right, got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the Dark Woods. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. There's a lock. I'm gonna need a key.
So you want a map? Red McRaith, sir. Your friendly visiting banisher. I met your companion in New Eden Town. Since then, sadly, things have not improved, right? In hard times and harder places, a man needs help. May I interest you in my broad range of useful and reasonably priced commodities? Show me your wares. You'll find what you need, I'm sure. I bid you good day. Off. 
There might be a way to open this door from the other side. Something's concealed. Feel a draft from the invisible. Can you find a way around the locked door? Now would be a good time to speak a few words of power, just to be sure. Present yourself! This isn't over yet. Watch out. Spectre possession. That one is shielded. Look to me. Watch out! Spectre possession!
Something's here. Hidden. Enjoying your feast of lesser living form, then? Don't be so loud. The wisps might hear you and come out. Slept in worse. And it smells better than Jacob Lind's lean to. The worst thing about Jacob Lind was not the smell. Freeze. I won't freeze. Right, let's go make ourselves useful. If the nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. <laughs> 